thank you for joining me. My name is Kate May and this is my channel, Kate May Modern Day Mystic. Now today I'm going to be talking about the full moon. I have some, it's the full moon in Libra. I have some gorgeous cards um, and these are from Moonology. The Yasmin Bolan Moonology. Now this is a card, uh, an image of the full moon and it says surrender to the divine. And this is a card of the full moon in Libra. And this says a win-win outcome is forecast. Can you just see that there in front of my laptop? So stunning images. Now the full moon in Libra, and this is the one that we're focusing on. It's a uh, full moon in Libra. Every full moon is about releasing things, things that come heightened, things that might have come to the core to, to show it in an illuminated way for you. Now, it's a great time for moons to release things. It's a great time to look at what no longer serves you, to look at what has been uh, illuminated and put right in front of you so that you can do something about it. This particular full moon, a lot of us are in lockdown. So it's to do with the relationships and partnerships particularly. So we're kind of all stuck in together. So it's, it's, um, it's gonna be showing us great things possibly those that we are sharing our accommodation with we might be coming together even more closer we might be loving the fact that we are being able to bond or it could go the opposite way that we want to uh, throttle each other and that actually um our little peace haven isn't quite that it's also going to show up the relationships that we're missing our loved ones that we can't reach out at the moment to uh, and show it, it's highlighting all the things that are that we're going to be missing in a touchy feely because it's ruled by venus libra so venus is the planet of love the planet the planet of um planet, the planet of touchy feely emotion and we can't do that at the moment so there's a lot of tense energy coming up with this libra full moon there um, it's also comes up around anything to do with bl uh, balance, to do with justice, to do with compromising, to do with harm harmony, to do with change, uh, leadership coming in here. And obviously we've, we've now got our um, leader, Boris Johnson, in intensive care. Um, there's a lot, lot that, that's coming with this. Now there are lots of different planetary aspects that, aspects that are coming in around today, but I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm literally just gonna talk about the full moon in Libra and what that means. It's going to be particularly um, uh, drawn to you if you are a Taurus or if you are a Libra. And you'll be looking at where your Taurus or where your, where your Venus house sits and where your Libra house sits and where your moon sits. Those are the three that you'll be really looking at. Now, it's also known as the Pink Moon. And that's because back in the day, um, it was named from pink flowers. Pink, um, I don't know, it's ro not roses, it's, I can't remember, pink moss that came up this time of year. So according to the Native Americans, this is the pink moon here. Now, as I said, Libra is connected to relationships and harmony and balance. With the full moon here, um, things might get a little bit tense because like I said, we are sort of compact a little bit more or we might be just feeling that extra emotion because we're concerned about all our loved ones and, and the state of the, the world really that's, uh, that's going on at the moment. The moon in Libra asks us to look at what is out of balance. So have a meditation this evening, tomorrow, look at where in your life it needs more harmony, where it needs more balance. Where can you bring peace into your relationship as well? Where can you bring peace um, into not just your own relationship, but that of others? And bring harmony to any relationships. And even if you're single, this is a relationship with your friends, a relationship with your family. It doesn't necessarily have to be partnerships there. Anything to do with um, the getting the balance of the leadership area there so that it's not kind of one one sided or over um, controlling is getting a balance in everything and where justice serves we're asked more you know now than ever um, to, to sort of get that balance of, of where justice is served now um, and we also need to look at what what we want to change what we want to release that just doesn't serve us anymore so that we can become lighter so that we can work with a, a higher and a stronger vibration that we're not being pulled down with any negative influences there. So we need to look at what needs to be released and to how we can change it. The full moon illuminates hidden things. 
for anything that might pop up now that you've just been sort of brewing about lately or that you've had a little bit of an edge now that the full moon is going to show it a lot more. Now I've been doing quite a few readings the last couple of days and they are based a lot of them on relationships and where things are coming particularly tense and where it's now illuminating whether they want to be with that person or not and illuminating what type of person that really is now that they're on lockdown with them. So it's no wonder it's coming up around a full moon here. We need to really think about what, where we're focusing too much on other people as well. Are we putting ourselves at a little bit of um, second best while we focus on the world and everything else? I think we really need to look at how much time we're spending watching the news, watching social media, um, and not being drawn to our own conclusions, but being drawn into that of others. So again, that will come up with the full moon in Libra. My, my thing is, not don't look at it really, <laughs> just once a day, catch up with it and that's it, make your own mind up. We're asking with the full moon, it's got the soft edge of Venus, so that does bring in that loving vibration with it. It's not, um, we, we haven't got quite that hard justice there, it has got a softer edge, edge to it there. And as I talk about justice, justice is the tarot card that comes in with um, the full moon in Libra. And I don't think I had it to hand, did I? Should have got that out, shouldn't I, when I was preparing. I'll see if I can grab it as I'm talking. So the justice card is all about um, a fair play, really. It's about accountability, being accountable for your actions and choices and decisions that you make and being accountable for what the outcome is. It's very much based on a truth card, very much based on um, the truth coming out and being accountable for everything really so if you've done good then you're lucky because you know you might get that karma back or be shown to be the one that's doing right but if you've been doing not so good if, if things haven't been good you've been doing naughty things or anything that you shouldn't have been doing then the justice card you will be held accountable for now if you hold your hands up to that it will be a, to a lesser degree but if you're gonna keep doing it keep being naughty then um it will come you know you will justice will be served one way or another there and once it's served, it's served, you know, it's, it's sort of done. I'm, I'm trying to find the justice card. You can bet your bottom that it's going to be right at the bottom of the deck there. Should I have gone to the bottom of the deck? Either that or I've missed it. Um, and I'm not seeing it, but nah, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Okay, I won't, won't bother looking for the justice card there. But it's, um, yeah, it's, it connects around the, uh, the, with the Libra there. Harmony, balance and... And those, um, those that are trying to find peace, really. It's a great time to try and find peace. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit about if you've got a moon in Libra here. So let me just get where I was going to go to. Um, if you've got the moon in Libra, this is something I've wrote. I'm not taking this from somebody else. It's something I've wrote on my own blog page. If you have the, your own moon in Libra, again, you'll be looking at what house it's in, what different house it sits in, and that's the area. It's like my moon is in my fourth house, my home and family. Uh, so things ever, whatever goes on, it's always connected around the home and family on an emotional level there. So you'll be looking at if it's around in your 10th house, it could be to do with career. If it's, uh, and we did look at Boris Johnson's and got a funny feeling he had something in his sixth house going on at the moment. And that's to do with, um, serving others your duty to, for others so have a look where your form where your moon sits and where libra sits there if you have your moon in libra you may like to have your own way thinking it is the fair way you will like to be in a relationship and maybe from a young age marry or live with someone you have so much love to share you won't or you may not feel quite complete on your own you'll be hard working but you prefer to sit back a little and let others do the work, you'll come up with the idea, let others do the work, and then you'll step in at the, at the end result, possibly. With the support of others, though, you can achieve a lot. Um, they like to do their own way, uh, and will argue with those close, but those that aren't so close, they will come across uh, as a little bit more diplomatic, but they usually like to give a good, a good argument there. They do like balance and harmony, uh, and we'll give, yeah, and I've put it there, and we'll give a good argument because they think they are right, they like to stick up for the underdog. Their, their emotions are ruled by fairness, by justice, by um, what is the right thing to do. So tonight, guys, tonight is the perfect time to either bath yourself in the full moon's energy or 
put your crystals out a lot of people put their crystals out so whatever it is that you want to be charged cleansed your intent is extremely important you can go out with the moon you can um, lay bare whatever it is that you want and have a little prayer do some smudging do a dance whatever it is that you want to do and then with the intent over your crystals, whatever it is, you can charge it and allow the moon's energy throughout tonight and tomorrow, bring that alive. It's all about the intent. Now, what will I be doing? So my altar behind me, I will be readjusting and putting some full moon things over that. Uh, I've always got my partnership, I always have rose quartz. Don't know if you can see it there, but I've got, I have my partnership for my relationship there. Uh, rose quartz, I love that. I usually have a butterfly because I do like transformation. Um, I believe that has a positive effect, transformation. I've normally got some abundant crystals there, which again I'll, I'll put in. But I pick different cards, different tarot cards, different moonology, wh whichever deck I'm drawn to, I lay them out as my intent as well. So I shall be doing that this evening but you've got to, tomorrow is the uh, full moon's energy as well it starts to wane a little bit as the days go over but you still have a few days to use that lovely lovely energy and have a little meditation or think about the things in your life that are out of balance uh, and what it is that you want to bring a bit more harmony to whether it's your own inner peace whether it's your own personal relationship whether it's your relationships with people from afar maybe it's working relationships children, whatever it is, this is about releasing and forming a bridge, you know, particularly in these times where the world is in a crisis at the moment and we are having to really think differently and act differently. We're having to be a lot more compassionate. Um, the, you know, everything is changing dramatically. And, and again, astrologically, there's a whole big, bigger picture of what's going on there. A lot of people are becoming more spiritually awakened, which is fantastic. I do hope it doesn't go to waste. I do hope that we've learned from this, that we slow down. And I'm a fine one to talk there. But, I, you know, hopefully we've all learned to slow down. We've learned what's important. And that this full moon just brings illuminated to us the importance of family, the importance of balance, the importance of harmony and peace within. Thank you for watching. If you would like to follow me in more, subscribe to this channel or um, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Kate May Modern Day Mystic. You can join my group uh, and uh, I should be posting some more videos later. If you would like to book a reading, then check out my website, www.katemay.co.uk. Thanks a lot. Bye.